I have loads to do today, so I've just got up, just gonna have some breakfast, and then I'm gonna start sorting through all the kitchen stuff that arrived yesterday, and um, make sure that there's no marks, no faults, no breakages, no nothing. Um, and then I've got to paint. Lots of painting to do. So I'm just sorting these first. I've checked those, they're all good. Just checking these. Um, to make sure that there's no marks on them or no issues. Breezy's helping, sniffing out a good one. Yeah. There we go, just opening it, checking. You can see it's got the protective film on. All looks good, no marks. No marks. Doesn't matter on this side, because that side's going against the cabinet. Um, nice edges. Brilliant. Right, next. So I've checked all of these. So far, no issues. Now I'm gonna do these ones. You still helping, Mummy? You're so cute. Thank you for your help. So this is the warming drawer. It looks fine. No damage on it. Good. So I'm just popping to Gloucester. I've got some dust sheets and stuff to get because I've only actually got one really big one and I could do with like four other ones just because all the new kitchens in the dining room I don't want to be like splashing paint on anything because that will upset me. So I'm just racing into Gloucester to get that. I'll race back and then I can start painting. Gonna do the ceiling first. Um, once I've done the ceiling, I can then go round and do all the um, walls, which is good. Paint over the plaster and get everything ready for that. So I'm hoping I can do one coat on the ceiling, and while that's drying, do a coat on the walls. Um, while that's drying, and hopefully the ceiling will be dry by then, I can do another coat on the ceiling this evening. So there's lots happening, lots to do. I won't be able to do the whole ceiling, I'll only be able to do the kitchen area, the kitchen dining room, um, because I can't actually reach up to the, the dining room area because there's boxes everywhere and I can't move them all on my own. So that I'll have to wait. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna do one coat of um, like water and paint mixture onto the plaster so um, it doesn't soak up all my expensive paint. And then once that's dry, I'll do um, another, just a normal coat of paint. Um, might do two depending on what it needs. Um, and then I'll leave it and then once the cupboards are fit, I can then paint, um, like a final coat should I need to because obviously the guys will have their hands all over it and um, we want to keep it as fresh and nice as possible. The sealant should be okay with just two coats but we'll see what happens. Well, I've covered everything in like dust sheets all the boxes and stuff and I've sanded down the wall so everything's nice and smooth and um, now I'm gonna get painting. Gonna do the sealant first, just gonna do some edging and then roller roller roller. Not quite sure why I've got this oh, glow about me, but that's kind of weird. As you can see, I'm in my trusty overall thing, and um, I'm gonna go get some paint. I've done the edge, and I started there, and I've done all the ceiling, round, round, to there. I've also gone round the light, because <clears throat> I can't take it down, and um, we've had a couple of like cracks that I've covered. Not bad. Now I'm gonna get the big roller out to do the rest of it this giant roller on a pole which is making things a lot easier. I've done the ceiling and it looks amazing! Look how shiny! Woo! Now I've got to do the wall. So I've made this mixture of like 50, 50 paint and water. It's really runny so I've put it in my white bucket and I've started painting the bottom. So, I've been careful with the drips because it's dripping everywhere. I'm covered, breeze is covered, floor is covered, everywhere is covered. Look at this. See, it's really drippy. So good job um, we've not keeping this carpet. So, um, I've tried to wipe the stuff off the bottom and I've got to this far so far. Um, it's really watery, look. Here's my bucket. So you just get some on your brush and then this is to um, cover the plaster 
without wasting oil good paint so I'm just using white and um, white and water I'm putting it on and then you can see where it's like dripped everywhere just making sure that all the drips are gone like this lovely and then you can see where it's dripped all over there so I have to get my trusty towel and then um, just wipe that off and then I can actually wash all that off after it's actually covering quite well um see what we got before and we got after before after finished a coat on everything and so I thought while it's drying I'd come out for a walk with Breezy. I've just realised that I'm absolutely covered in paint, wearing my painting clothes. Oh well, I don't care. It's actually really hot today which is nice. So it's nice to come out, bit of shade, bit of sun. The forest is lovely, super green. I love it. This stone looks like a fish. How weird. Pit stop for some grass. Yum, 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 yum. What are you sniffing? Creatures. Come on then. I'm absolutely pooped. I've worked really, really hard today. It was about seven hours in all painting and um, I'm totally pooped. So I wrapped myself in a blanket and now I'm going to bed. Oh, I'm going to hurt tomorrow. Oh well, never mind. For the greater good. So in the meantime, don't forget, remember the little things.